Yeah, my AC line, I mean my AC compressor was screeching a couple days ago, so I decided, well, go ahead, give me a brand new or remanufactured AC compressor, my first charge, and two cans. And I got to, uh, that was the only one they had, and that has a different uh, setup than the one on my car. So I'm gonna cut the wire and I'm gonna make my own. And I just lost it. That's crazy. Hey, got the wrong one. Where the plug at? Yeah, see, I got the wrong one, y'all. We gonna get the right one that goes forward. Well, I learned something new today. These air compressors right here will actually, it'll bolt up to their truck, but the pigtails, the pigtail connections are different. So it wouldn't bolt up back here in the back and it was leaking. As soon as I put Freon in it, it started leaking. So I had to take that one back and get the one that's supposed to go on the truck. I didn't know that it was a difference like this, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Yeah, YouTube, so as you can see, it has that uh, this piece on it right here, this piece. And I figured that only thing I had to do was really just uh, cut it. I think only thing I had to do was cut it, like they are on this car, and plug it in that one, and it'll work. But the back didn't bolt up. Man, it was, it was, it started, it started leaking out the back. The back didn't bolt up. So that was my problem. Everything else bolted up, but the back part did not sit flush in there. So I'll take this off and I'm gonna see how flush it sit. another morning we vacuumed down the system in the truck yesterday we cut the AC on and it was screeching a little bit and, um, I don't know maybe it's because we didn't put any oil in it first it was screeching so this morning what we about to do about to crank it up cut the AC on and we're gonna see we're gonna see if this thing still has air. It was cold yesterday. It was real cold yesterday. So we're gonna see. All right, cut the AC on. get my uh, thing I don't know what the hell it's called let me get my thing in here and see if I can see what the temperature is in here
AC is working today. Yesterday it was screeching its butt off yesterday. So, okay, we good on this truck. Now, I have to do the AC in this truck. I had to go and buy a, um, what did I have to go buy yesterday? I had to go buy a pull, I had to go buy a pulley, an AC pulley yesterday. Yeah, I had to go buy an AC pulley yesterday because the one that's on the truck was messed up. So the owner before me who had this truck, uh, it must have messed up on him. So I had to buy this pulley for this truck, AC tensioner. So we're going to install this. The belt is already on there. I did it yesterday. I didn't record it, but the belt is on there already. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, put the belt on, and I'm going to... Uh, my guy's not around to vacuum it down, but I'ma just go ahead and put some uh, Freon and crap in it. And I'ma see what I come up with. It might just kick on and stay cold. I didn't did that before on vehicle, so I'ma give that a shot. All right, so to get to this tensioner, I have to take these, um, take these bolts off them up under there take them bolts off and I have access to the tension got the cover off as you can see there's the tension and uh, it looks eight out the pulley looks eight out but I'm gonna take this pulley off uh, look like a five eight or something like that Well, I got the old one off. As you can see, it's froze. It's froze is not doing anything opposed to the new one. The new one is good. This one is terrible. I've never had any AC. So we're going to install this one. Put it on. I got the new AC tensioner installed. As you can see, got the belt wrapped around there. So let's crank this thing up and uh, see how it acts. Well, YouTube, the air compressor kicking on. It might just need, it might just need to be vacuumed down, but it's making a loud rattling noise down there. It's not getting cold. I probably just need to vacuum it down, vacuum it down, and then see if it gets cold in there. But as of right now, it's not. And plus the AC compressor is making a loud noise. So I may just have to get an air compressor. Then as you can hear, something leaking down there too. You can hear it. Yep, I hear it whistling down there. So. I ain't gonna worry with it. Just gonna order an air compressor. Yeah, you can hear it. So I'm just gonna order an air compressor YouTube and then um, put it on there and should be good to go. Yeah, man. Well, it is what it is. At least I can drive that truck uh, until I can get a AC compressor for this truck. I know this truck has AC. This car does have AC. This car does have AC. I can't crank this one up because I took the fuel tank down because we're trying to see why it won't stay 
running, but yeah, this one got AC in it. I know this one got AC in it. Let's cut this air on in here. Uh oh. Forgot I was listening to my music. <laughs> Well, anyway, YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm just out here champing with these vehicles, man, trying to get a lot of things squared away. But uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The next video will probably be me installing the fuel pump in this car. And we're trying to keep it running, man. Like I say, it might be in the tune, but my oil pressure is real low in this car, and it, it won't stay running. As you can see, I dropped the gas tank. So we're going to do that next. Uh, and that's just about it, man. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Dre Jackson 1000. I'm out of here.